Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today, I thought we could kind of unbox and play with some of the new stuff I got that I haven't given a try yet. Actually, something that I very much love that I just ordered a new batch of that we can talk about again. I just have a whole bunch of new fun things that I have purchased or have been gifted to me recently and I'm really excited to test it out and I thought we could do it together. Living Proof makes one of my absolute favorite dry shampoos. It just does a really good job of stretching my hair out for a couple days, especially I work out every day, I get a little bit sweaty in my hair but I feel like I want to stretch it out another day, this is the dry shampoo that I will reach for. I don't know if you guys follow, her name is Daryl Ann. I recently discovered her and she actually had a really, really awesome code for the dry shampoo, so I had to snag it. So I will link her Instagram for you below if you wanted to check her out, but she has been a fun watch. Clearly, I am very much obsessed. <laughs> she had this code for if you were to buy the bundle, it was like a bundle of two dry shampoos. It came with a small one. You get a big one for free. So unfortunately, that code is no longer available, but this just shows you how much I love this dry shampoo. Something to think about is this is a dry shampoo that can give you a little bit of that white residue. That's why I think it works really well if you're trying to like revive hair that's pretty oily or a little bit sweaty or something like that. It is really important to shake it really well. I just like to section my hair, spray here, section my hair, spray here, section my hair in the middle, spray, and then like back here, I will spray back here because I get sweaty back here, and then I even do like another layer and spray back here, and then I do another layer and spray back here. So I really make sure Sure I get it all up in there really, really well. Another trick I really like is, ooh, if your hair is feeling a little bit oily, but you know you're not really gonna wanna wash it or deal with it tomorrow, I like to spray it in before bed and I wake up with clean hair. Lots of ways to use this, or let's say if you work out in the morning but you don't have time to do a full washing your hair and get ready again, you can spray this in and wait 30 seconds, massage it in, hit it with a little bit of heat to to, you know, dry out the sweaty hair with this in it and you end up with clean hair and wanted to remind you to give it a try if you haven't given it a try yet. Okay, another thing that I actually learned about from Daryl Ann, I don't know if you guys can see, but you see how like I have these little baby hairs or like kind of flyaways that just always kind of happen at the crown of the hair right there. I actually got this off of Amazon. I will be sure to link this below for you to check out. It was really inexpensive, like $6.99 for two of these bad boys and I haven't given it a shot yet. I think it's a really good idea. So it comes with two and it almost just looks like clear mascara or clear brow gel but this is perfect to tame these kind of like little flyaways i'm like all into it and it says that it conditions and strengthens your hair too i don't know how true that is but sure why not i'll take some of that as well i never tried something like this but i definitely feel like i could use it because if I, sorry, if I look like this, you can kind of see against my white wall, I have these little flyaways there. So it's just a nice little gel situation. Comes with a pretty big brush and it's a little bit arched there. And then you just put a little bit of it onto your flyaways. Okay, I feel like that was super easy. I didn't even have to like re-dip it and that kind of calmed down all those flyaways just really quickly. I feel like it feels really soft. It doesn't feel like I straight up put gel in my hair where it's like crunchy or anything, but we'll kind of see how it lasts while I'm making this video. But I thought this was a really cool find, really inexpensive on Amazon. Again, I'll link it below, but this was a Daryl Ann suggestion, and I'm here for it because I always feel like my baby hairs can get really crazy. So cool new product. Before I get into some Sephora makeup stuff, I will talk to you guys a little bit about this Give Them Lala Beauty, and this is her lip quencher. Lala is one of the girls from Vanderpump Rules, and I love her. She has great style. She's sassy. She's awesome. I was really intrigued by her really talking about her lip quencher. Her lips always look so 
voluptuous and juicy and so I actually am wearing it right now. I purchased two so I saved this one unopened to talk to you guys about it and honestly unfortunately I am a little bit disappointed in it. I feel like the component that it comes in it feels a little bit, I feel bad for saying this, component feels a little bit cheap and the wand is very tiny and the little doe foot, you know, applicator isn't very puffy. And so I feel like it kind of doesn't coat your lips really nicely. When you pull it out, it pulls too much of the product off. And so I need to keep dipping in to get enough of the product to fully coat my lips. And the way she would talk about it, her lips just look so juicy and amazing. And I do think it gives a good shine, but I almost was, maybe this is my fault for misunderstanding, but I thought it was going to be a little bit more of like a lip oil or something like that. But it definitely is like a sticky gloss. I don't love the texture of it right now. I'm kind of leaning towards like glosses and lip oils they just look really comfortable and slip on the lip whereas I'm not really into that really sticky vibe you know what I mean so again if you were kind of wondering about this like I think it looks nice it does keep your lips conditioned because it is that like thicker sticky formula but I don't know if I'm going to repurchase this might be a little bit of a meh for me so wanted to talk to you guys about that. I want to just talk about this beauty. Oh my gosh. This is my first Gucci beauty item and one of my really good friends, Michonne, she was super sweet and sent this to me for my birthday. So thank you. Thank you so much, Mish. I really appreciate it. I haven't used it yet because I've been kind of like saving it to try it out with you guys, but it is a really, really beautiful bronzer. In the box, it comes in this like cute little dust bag like how cute is this and look at this beautiful packaging it's like the most beautiful bronzer i ever did see but oh my gosh look at how stunning stunning it is it has a nice mirror it has like a protector on there so you can peel it off and then you can lift it up and it comes with this cute little brush situation i probably won't be using that today but if you want to travel with it you have that to touch up i guess i really like this color this is the color 03 browsing powder I'm excited to try it out with you guys i am going to try it out with this complex culture press and set bronzer brush it's really soft and i feel like it has like good coverage and blends really well it's like too beautiful i almost don't want to use it but mish tells me it's amazing so we got to give it a try Ooh. I feel like there's no like fluffy fallout or anything. It feels very buttery. And I'm just going to put a little bit of it on the forehead. I'm gonna like bronze one side of the face so we can like see the difference. Wow, that color is so pretty. And oh, I'm going to use a MAC 224 blending brush and I'm going to do a little bit of nose contour too while we're at it. Okay. <laughs> So this side is nice and bronze. I still need to do this side, but this, this looks more sun-kissed and a little bit more chiseled a little bit. So far, really loving the color and uh, it goes on buttery and amazing. What a luxury, what a luxury. How bougie am I? <laughs> Right, you guys I finished bronzing and can I just say OMG <laughs> 
I love it. Yes, it is a bit expensive, but it goes on like a dream, like butter. <laughs> And I feel like I barely had to do anything to blend it. I feel like it gave me this overall really sun-kissed golden bronze look. You know some powder bronzers, like as soon as you dip your brush in it, like there's like a lot of powder fallout. You feel none of that. So I feel like I'm not wasting any product at all. And I do think it'll last a really long time because you can see how like thick the pan is. So I feel like a little bit goes a long way with how well it goes on and applies. So if you're feeling like treating yourself or having somebody treat you, I highly recommend checking this out. And it's just so beautiful to have in your makeup case or on your vanity. How fancy, how fancy to have something like this. Thank you again, Mish. I love it so much. Okay, so let's dive in next to my Sephora order. I am so, so excited for this. This is the Gucci Flora Limited Edition Gorgeous Gardenia perfume. So I wanted to treat myself a little bit. It's my birthday month. I'm still celebrating. I was influenced on this by Courtney Shields. I will link her Instagram below for you guys to check out as well. But she recommended this scent. And kind of a fun fact, I don't know if you guys remember, but I got sinus surgery back in June and I've had issues with my sinuses all my life growing up and everything. And for the past couple years, before my sinus surgery, I had lost my sense of smell. So perfumes and those kinds of things just didn't really do it for me because I couldn't smell it. So I wasn't really purchasing. So I haven't purchased a perfume, I wanna say since like high school. And trust me, I just turned 34. That was a long time ago. But after the sinus surgery, I'm able to smell again. And it's like a whole new world. So I wanted to treat myself to a new scent. So I purchased the big boy it is 3.3 ounces on here it is called the Gucci flora lavender and the key notes of the scent is red berry pear and white gardenia I feel like I'm into all of those scents so I'm really excited to give this a try for 3.3 ounces it was 115 oh my goodness look at how pretty this bottle is so chic and stunning very heavy duty i feel like normally i like spray it like two sprays and then like i walk and waft through it so it's like a nice light dusting of the scent if you will but since i'm sitting right here maybe i'll just do a little bit of a spritz on my wrist I don't know why I'm like scared. Ooh, okay. Oh, yes. Uh, I just feel like it is so nice, not too crazy. I feel like it is a really nice, light spring summer day. I do feel like I get pear white gardenia vibes for sure in here, but yay, I'm so excited. All right, moving on to some more fun makeup to test out. Highly recommend Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Chic Swish and Pop Blusher. These are their blushes. I believe this is my third one. I have the Walk of No Shame and Climax, I believe, and I've been enjoying layering them. I can link those below for you if you wanna check this out. This is Love is a Drug. This is also a recommendation from my friend, Michonne. She owns like all of them, I believe, but she was like, you need to get some, and now I'm fully obsessed and clearly trying to collect them all as well. Packaging is so stunning and chic. Oh my goodness, how fun is this color? I thought that this would be a really fun color for like the spring and summer. I like kind of peachy pinky colors. And I'm gonna go in with my trusty 129 MAC blush brush. What I usually do is just kind of do like a swirl around the right and then a swirl to around the left and I feel like that gives me like a really nice mix but there is something about the formula of these it just goes on so nicely oh my goodness oh wow I really like this color it almost is like a lighter more sheer less like glittery orgasm <laughs> and that is a blush color from nars that was really popular before if you guys don't know but this is a really nice sheer it almost has like 
a peachy golden highlighter vibe that it's giving me and I feel like it is complementing that bronzer that I put on earlier really well. Her formula is just so nice and her colors are always just so beautiful. love blush so much I feel like it just like wakens your face up and just give you this glow and makes you just feel young and fresh and vibrant I like to put a little bit of blush onto my nose I feel like it gives you this kind of like sun-kissed rosy look and I'm into that I feel like I can't stop putting it on it's like so beautiful I'm like load me up Highly, highly recommend you giving Charlotte Tilbury blushes a try. Absolutely love them. I just want to collect them all at this point because I love every single one that I have tried. Okay, another really fun thing is this Tom Ford gloss in the color Phantom. 20. This is a little bit pricey for a gloss. It is $55 for a gloss, but you guys, there's something about this gloss that is just so lovely. The formula is so shiny, it makes your lips look so juicy and delicious. It doesn't feel sticky and it's just so comfortable and it also has really good color payoff as well. And I feel like it lasts a really long time even though it's not like a sticky gloss. Oh my god, this is like another Michonne find. She's one of my influencers in my life. She influences me on a lot of makeup and I love everything that she recommends. Clearly I'm a sucker for like really beautiful packaging because it's just like, you know, you want it to be pretty to look at as well if you're going to be paying like a ton of money for it. This is the 20 phantom color and this is like a warm deep brown. Check out this doe foot applicator. It's almost like a tear shape which is really nice. I'm gonna blot off a little bit of that la la lip quencher. Oh seriously it feels so nice and luxurious. I also have the color 8 inhibition. It also is a brownish but it's a little bit lighter and it's a little bit pinky. So this one is the 08 and then this one is the one that I just put on. So definitely darker brown but almost has like a little plum plummy vibe. So if you're looking for a little bit more natural, I recommend the 08. But again, I'll link both of these below for you. But yes, doesn't the gloss look beautiful? I feel like my lips just look so shiny and juicy and delicious. And I really enjoy the colors and it very much feels so comfortable. Like it's really moisturizing, not sticky at all. And then last but not least, this was my birthday gift from Sephora. This year they have some pretty good options to choose from, but this is the Laneige. Laneige, Laneige, and it comes with a little water blank moisture cream, their water sleeping mask, and then of course their really coveted lip sleeping mask. These are awesome sizes. I'm definitely going to put these in my little travel bag for when we get to go back out traveling. I can't wait. If you're looking for any of these, I really enjoy this brand. Their lip mask is really, really nice. All right, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. That was so fun. And honestly, everything that I talked about today is super amazing love everything so i'll be sure to link everything in the description box below for you to check out if you're thinking about treating yourself to a couple things and oh yeah for the little hair wispy gel situation it still feels really nice like i don't feel like it is at all like crunchy or doing anything weird to my hair so i will absolutely continue to use this all right again thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today please be sure to subscribe to my channel and ring that notification bell so you're notified as soon as I post my next video that would help me out a lot and as always please take care of yourselves and each other and I will see you guys next week bye